Welcome to my channel, Mastery Math. My name is Julia Cox. Today the focus will be on numbers and operations of TEKS 4.2a. Interpret the place value position as 10 times the position to the left as 10 times one tenth the position to the right. So let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, begin. So if I have seven pennies and I multiply seven hundredths times ten, that's going to give me, so seven pennies times ten is going to give me seventy cents. And this and represents part of the whole, so I'm at seventy cents. Now, if I multiply seven dimes times ten, or seventy cents times ten, that's going to give me seven dollars. If I continue on, seven dollars or seven ones times ten is going to give me seventy dollars and if i continue moving to the left seventy dollars times ten is going to give me seven hundred dollars and if i go one more place seven hundred dollars times ten is going to give me seven thousand dollars. And as you can see, when we're comparing these numbers, when we're comparing this number to this number, it would be one tenth, one hundred, one thousand, and it continue on. So ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So, and that would be if I was moving this way, I would be, if I'm moving to the right, it's going to become smaller. If I'm moving to the left, it's going to become larger, and you're going to be adding a zero each time. Now, let's go ahead and take this away. And uh, another requirement in the fourth grade, it's not only 10 times the value, but it could be 100 times the value. So, if I'm taking this number, and I'm looking to the left, this is going to be 10 times the value, and this is going to be 100 times the value. And that makes sense, because if we're multiplying 7 times 100, that's going to give us $7, which is correct, because 7, we have 7 pennies, and if we multiply 7 pennies times 100, that's going to give us 700 pennies which is seven dollars and so that's important to know too so now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and continue on I will move we'll take this away and we'll go to seven ones so if I have seven ones and I multiply it by because this would be tens and this would be hundreds. If I multiply seven ones times a hundred, that's going to give me seven hundred dollars. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this away. So we've already, we just did, the place value is ten times the position to the right. We just did that. Now, we're going to look at the place value position is one tenth of the value of the place to its left. So, say for instance, I am at $7,000. $7, this number is going to be one tenth the value, and this number is going to be one one hundredth the value. So in other words, I have $7,000. If I move this to the right, that's going to be 700. If I'm going to move it, so that would be one-tenth the value, and this would be, so it would look like this. 7,000, this is one-tenth the value, and this is one-one-hundredth the value. So as you can see, when you're comparing numbers that are on the, this side, the left side of the place value chart, these are the larger numbers. 
when you're comparing to the numbers to the numbers on the right, the numbers from the left to the numbers on the right is going to become smaller because it's a smaller amount of money. You're going from here, this is the pennies, to the dimes, to the dollars, to the $10 bill, to the $100 bill, to the $1,000 bill, to the $10,000 bill, to the $100,000 bill, to the million bill, to the $10 million bill, to the $100 million bill, to the billion bill. So when you're comparing a number on the left to a number on the right, it will become one-tenth the value, one one hundredth the value, and then if we're talking about seven ones, it would be one one thousandth the value. And that would be right, because if we multiplied this one thousand times seven, that's going to give us seven thousand, which is equivalent, seven thousand ones is equivalent to seven thousand. So, that does make sense. Okay, so it would be multiplying 1,000 times 7, and that would be, all right. So now we have just gone over place value of the place value position is 10 times the visit position to the right. And we've also gone over the place value position is one-tenth of the value to its left. So when we're going this direction, when we're going this direction, it's getting larger. When we're going this direction, it's getting smaller if we're comparing. So if in other words, this number, if we're comparing this number to this number, this number is going to be smaller than this number. This number is going to be larger than this number. So when you go to the left, it gets bigger. When you go to the right, it gets smaller when you're comparing numbers. Thank you for taking the time to view the video today. I hope that this has been helpful. If uh, you like the video, please click like and share. And if you have any suggestions uh, moving forward so to some type of video that you would like me to uh, display or uh, show, uh, regarding some kind of math teaks uh, in fourth grade, I would be more than glad to help you. Thank you. Have a great evening.